Hey, Corey. Uh, I guess for you guys offensively today, uh, it, you had that great first drive and then it kind of cooled down a bit and then got you guys involved, you and obviously A.J. Brown with some big plays. Um, what's your, I guess, uh, what's your mindset kind of going down the stretch there during the game when you guys had to make those big plays? Um, <clears throat> one play at a time. Um, you know, we, we understand the caliber of offense we have and we got a lot of weapons and, um, and we understand that you know, every play isn't going to be a big play, you know, all the time. So we got to stick to who we are and, you know, take it one play at a time. And, you know, that's what we did. Uh, Buck? What's up, Corey? Uh, AJ said he uh, he told Derek in overtime to go out there and win the game, told him he was taking too long. Uh, what what were you guys thinking heading into the into the overtime period, understanding that you had an opportunity after the defense got the stop? Um. I mean, our mindset was win, honestly, and, and it's the same as I said previously. Just take one play at a time, um, and you know that's what we did. We drove the field, and O line did great, D hand did great, and you know Ride did as well. So um, a lot of work to do, a lot, a lot to clean up, but we got the win. David, Corey, you, you guys know what this game meant in the standings. What uh, what do you feel you accomplished today towards your goal of making the playoffs? Um, I mean, we were just focused on this game. You know, we're focused on going one and zero each and every week, and, and that's what we did. Um, Baltimore was you know, another team that was um, you know, on our schedule when we came out. And we handled business, and we're on Indy. Terry, Corey, it seemed like there was a lot of, of emotion on both sides, like maybe stemming back from the playoff game last year. How much did that kind of play into you guys uh, digging deep and, uh, and being able to pull this win out? Yeah, I mean, we, we kind of knew that there was going to be some extra stuff, um, you know, coming into this game just because of last year or whatever. But, um, you know, we tried to keep our poise and, and go out there and handle business, you know, nothing more, nothing less. And like I said, that's what we did. Steve Lehman. Corey, you guys talk so much about being complimentary in football. Is there a better example of being complimentary than what you guys did in the fourth quarter and especially then overtime today with the defense getting a three and out and you guys driving the field to put it away? Man, I mean, that's that's who we are. You know, that's that's when we're at our best, you know. And, um, you know, the first half we were a little iffy. And like I said, we have a lot to clean up. But, um, you know, towards the end of the game, towards that, that last stretch is, is who we are. And, um, you know, we got to be like that every time. That was complimentary. Um, you know, defense got the stop and we went down there and, you know, put the game away. That's that's who we are. And a quick follow up to what you just said there is it wasn't always pretty. It was a little bit greasy at times today and things like that. But do you guys almost relish these types of games where you have to grind it out and, and frankly, be tougher than the other side? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, when it, when it comes to, you know, grinding it out and, 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 you know, take it to the fourth quarter. And, you know, that's like I said, that's who we are. You know, we, we don't have any front runners. we got a bunch of guys who have been down before and they understand, um, you know, what it takes to, to, to come back and, and win a game like this. And, um, yeah, like I said, man, we have a, a great team and um, you know, I'm really proud of them. John Glennon. Yeah, Corey, a um, lot of adversity kind of going into this game. I mean, you'd lost three of four, a lot of injured players, you know, and it was uh, against another six and three team too. You know, how, how uh, memorable is this victory, you know, among some of the uh, some of the wins you guys have had here in recent years? Yeah, this is this is definitely a big one. Um, you know, it took some grit and it took some some scratching and clawing, but um, we have a, a next man up mentality, you know, along with everyone else. And we trust our twos to go in there and, and you know, fill that gap and, um, you know, be just as good. You know, it won't be a big drop off. And that's what they did. You know, we had a lot of injuries on, up front and, you know, on the team in general. And, um, you know, the twos really stepped up, so I'm proud of them. Paul? Or you had some big catches. Uh, I was wondering about your vantage point on AJ's catch where he fought through those four guys to, to get into the end zone. Where, where were you watching that from and what did you think? I was on the left side. I, got, I had a pretty good view of it. And man, that's, <laughs> I don't even know. That was a crazy play. That's who he is, though. He's like... No, that was a crazy play. I'm sitting there watching him break four or five tackles, and um, you know he's a relentless player, and you know he's faced a lot of adversity as well. And um, you know that's a guy who's going to fight to the end and keep going. And um, 
I'm happy to not sorry. I'll tell you that. And I'm real proud of them. Jim. Corey, how have you been able to get through this last couple of weeks uh, with everything you've had going on? And why is it so important for you to be out here playing it and then kind of speaking through that? What's the support been like from your teammates through everything you've had to go through? Man, the support has been unbelievable. Um, you, know, you can tell a lot about this team. They really care about each other, you know, not just on the field, you know, just outside of football, you know, pretty much everyone reached out to me, coaches and, and obviously players, they reached out to me and just told me that they were thinking about me and my family and they were praying for us. And, um, you know, that goes a long way um, to be able to come here and know that guys got my back on and off the field and they got my family's back. And um, that means a lot. You know, we, we had a tragic loss in our family. My brother was everything to me. Um, you know, we're going to miss him dearly. And, um, Eric. Hey, Corey, uh, this was your third 100 yard receiving game of the season. Do you feel like right now you're playing your best football of your career? Playing good football. Um, definitely. Um, I would say so. Yeah, you know, I've come a long way. Not only physically, mentally, you know, um, a lot to clean up, I'll tell you that. There, that's why I'm sitting here pondering. I have a lot to, to grow at and a lot to clean up, but I'm happy with the way that I've been playing and as well as this team. And um, you know, we just got to keep improving you know, each and every week. Three more, TD. Yeah, Corey, it's really it's refreshing to see you consistently catch the football with confidence and just week in and week out do what you're doing. What what has I don't want to say something has changed, but are you uh, seeing things more clearly from a mental standpoint, or, or what's really been the key for you with that? I mean, I'm I'm going out there being me, you know, each and every game, and, and that's what this team is doing as well. It's you know nothing more, nothing less than that. Obviously, the years previous to this haven't been you know like this, and. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm happy with the way I've been playing and do I have a room for improvement? Of course, you know, it's definitely room for improvement, but um, we'll keep we'll keep getting there, keep improving each and every week. And um, just happy to be part of this team and I'm real proud of these guys. You good? You good? Who are you? Sorry, was that me, Arden? Yep, go for it. Last one, Arden. Corey, when you don't have any catches in the first half, is it ever do you ever have to sort of get yourself back up for the, the start of the second half? I mean, are you frustrated, bored at all when you go through a half like that? Um, you just gotta stay in it. I wasn't necessarily frustrated or, or bored. Um you just have to, you know, mentally keep keep yourself in the game. Um, you know, not I know I didn't have any catches in the first half, but um, you know, I have an impact on this game that's blocking and um, where there's a lot of other things that I can I can do to help the team with you know without just catching the ball. I know it sounds crazy, but um, you know I pride myself on my blocking and whatever I can to take whatever I can do to take a few hits off off of Derek and, and the backs. I'm gonna do that, but um, just gotta tell yourself to stay in it mentally and you know the ball will come.